Hello and welcome back to Star Trek Birth of the Federation. The Federation has been birthed, but it was a bloody mess. Yeah. Oh, it's, like, it's conjoined twins at the moment, which conjoined triplets between the humans, the Vulcans, and the, uh, the, the Tamarians. Yeah. And we do you know what? We're doing all right. Hmm. We had a bit of an accident. Um, we, we, we lost our fleet. We gave yeah, the Klingons we, a bit too much space. Yeah. Well, this guy, the gaseous cloud, got us. Otherwise, though, we're rebuilding. Yeah, we, we have rebuilt. We've got the fleet, the, the Starfleet. This we've is got, it. We've got one, two, three, three. We've got four light cruisers, a command cruiser, which is the... Uh, USS Kinugasa. Kinugasa. Who's the captain of the Kinugasa? Can you guess? No. Kinugasa? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can okay. Kinugasa? <laughs> I'm tired. Please I'm leave dying. a like to end these, these terrible puns. Um, if we get at least 5,000 likes, I won't let Lewis pun No again. more puns. <laughs> no one's going to like this video now. Everyone loves a pun. Everyone loves a good pun. Pun is the highest form of wit. Okay, leave a, leave a comment if you like Sarcasm puns. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Punning is the highest. Is the highest. Form of wit. Wow, God, there's a real middle ground there. Isn't yeah, it? Pun, sarcasm is terrible. It's not even wit, really, is it? So we're on turn 110. Let's have a look at the summary screen, because we haven't played this for like a week. We need a, we need a recap. All right, so Cardassians um, are war with the Ferengi. So Federation, here we go. This Everyone's at war with the Ferengi. We are, at, we've got a peace treaty with the Ferengi and the Romulans. We're at peace with everyone. And neutral with the Cardassians and the Klingons. And it, for miners... Somehow. We're not, we're not friends with any of the miners, apart from bestest friends with these two. Yeah, we need to keep friends with those. The Cardassians have got the beta, beta Zoids and the Iridians on board. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's not bad going for Cardassia, is it? Good for them. Good for them. I guess. But both of these races give uh, perks to spying. Oh, shit. When the Cardassians are already really good at spying. Well, well. That's why our something got bombed. Our star base got bombed on Sol, it? did, it? didn't it? Let's Why's just check out. Spying our... scum. So then we've got, we got 80 spies, and they're all on internal security. Right. Which I, think I guess we want to leave good, them there, do we? Yeah. So did they have someone sabotage on Exactly. On us? They had right. someone doing military sabotage. Cheeky fuckers. Cheeky fucks. So there they are. Look, this is the, the neutral zone between us and the Cardassians. And we can see a cruiser, a transport, and another transport. So I think they're going to build an outpost in a minute. All That's right. what that looks like. And then our fleet is here. And we're going to rescue... We can rescue the the Ferengi. That's our plan. No, our plan... Was that, what was our plan? Well, um, we were going to have the dry, dry run we were gonna rescuing the Ferengi. Serious. Make best friends with Ferengi, trade them up. And then we're going to rescue the dogmen from the Klingons. And then best friend them up. And best friend them up. So we're just going to... That's right, because the only way to tell the Klingons to join the Federation is to beat them. Yeah, where they have to, we, have to, we have to win the battle of diplomacy. That's right, I remember. And we have to assert our dominance Yeah, you over have to them. Like, stick your ass in their face or whatever it is that Klingons do. <laughs> yeah. Is that dogs or Klingons? I can't remember. Uh, both, I guess. Dogs. The dirty dogs. Dogs. Right, Sorry, um, Klingons, I'm not calling you dogs. Well, I'm not a fan of Klingons in general. They're like, ugh, I just don't like him, I guess. I like the way they go, Kopla! I guess, like, I have I feel like having watched a lot of Star Trek, mm -hmm. I'm very bored of the Klingons. Right, because they never really changed. And they? also, they're so stupid. <laughs> like, ugh. There was this one terrible Star Trek episode I watched. Man, I've watched a lot of terrible Star Trek episodes. If well, yeah, there are a lot fair. of terrible ones. They're it's just, amazing how much of it we watch, considering how many of them are terrible. How, mu how much we complain about it. <laughs> yeah. So I saw a trailer yesterday for Star Trek Discovery. Oh, is that finally getting on made? On Netflix. Wow. It's on Netflix. It's got a woman captain. I thought it was on CBS. I think she's like black Asian as well. Oh, she's Blasian. Like a, I don't know if she is, actually. She's a Blasian. <laughs> I think she, well... She's Are you making up racial lies? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say because we did talk about this. Are you basically is this, is this old man talk for she's an ethnic? Is no, that what but, you're trying to say? No, it's nice that they've got they've gone they've gone like you know because sometimes they win, not really willing to take risks on this, are they? No, but you're willing to take. But risks. But they're going the full whole hog. They're like you know, right? They're not playing it safe with chiselled white man. No, exactly. They're not. They're not playing it safe at all. But. And it looked like everything was on the line as well. It was like, we've discovered a thing that will kill the galaxy. We have dun, to... dun, you crazy, you can't... You weren't supposed to go out there and blow up the ship. 
well, we didn't have a choice. But we're Starfleet, we never fire first. In this case, we're supposed to fire first. I don't play by the rules, but mm. that. by God, I get results. It was, it was, it was one of those, was it? I don't know, it's kind of made me less excited for oh, the uh, series. Oh, no. It looked, though, like a movie rather than a oh, TV really? show, wow. in a way. It was quite... Was it high-quality production? It looked a little bit like the new Star Trek films, you know? In oh, okay. It's set ten years before Kirk. Right, interesting. So it's coming up on Kirk. Yeah, but it's basically the same fast. era. So are they still... Does everything look like it was made in the 70s? No, it looks all like the new Star Trek. Oh, right, okay. So mm. fans, like iPads. Right, stuff. it's like the, the Enterprise looks like the I Apple Shop. Orders. Yes, it does. Well, not Shit. quite, no. It looks a bit more like a kind of... I don't know, it looked good. It looked okay. I didn't have too much problem. Oh, shit. The Klingons have sent in a scout into our fleet. See, to see what we what, managed what's to going build on. after so, the crystal. Have won the battle. Let's just kill that. Because okay. we're about to go to war with them. Um, when are we going to go to war then? This turn. Received. This okay. is it. Look. Um, so here's a troop transport coming to Sirius. Here's the rest of the fleet. Going to what else are we building? Right, so on Earth we're putting a science festival. Because this could be a very short series if the Klingons return in, en masse with a big fleet and just wreck everything. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen. So we've got enough in the bank to just instantly spit out another galaxy class if we need it. I mean, yeah, I mean those things... In a way, those things like buff a fleet, don't they? So we don't want... Yeah. It's not, there's not a point in having too many of but if, them. But if we want to just emergency shit out a ship, it's better to get one of these than a light cruiser. I, I suggest we emergency poop out, poop out ship. Let's poop a ship out. Just poop one out. Let's give birth to, <laughs> to <Federation>. a federation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! When you said you watched the trailer, I thought you were going to say you watched the trailer for the um, Seth MacFarlane thing. Oh, that looks great! <laughs> There's some really funny moments in that trailer. Were there? I like Seth MacFarlane. I like him too, but I felt like... I feel like what they've done is they've seen how successful Guardians mm -hmm. of the Galaxy Diplomatic was, and they were like, hey, I want to get me some of that. Why don't we just do a Star Trek-themed one, you know? Yeah. And do you know what? Is it a film or a TV series? It's a film. It's a movie, isn't it? I, think I, it's I, I thought Spaceballs? it was a TV series. I thought it was like Spaceballs. No, I think it's um, I think it's like a hyperdrive. Did you ever watch that? No. It was um, a sitcom, Task basically Force the same thing, a spoof Star Trek sitcom, but it had... Um, Man, what's I would, his name? I would love. I think it'd be better if it is a, a, a sitcom. Yeah, what's his name from? Um, ah, from Spaced. You know Simon Pegg's mate. Oh yeah, Nick Frost. Nick Frost, that's the guy. Yeah. Um, him. He was the captain. I like Nick Frost. I like Simon um, Pegg. But it I was... like Seth MacFarlane. I'm excited. There's yeah, stuff you're excited. Out. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. If you're no, excited I'm, about something, why not? Brilliant. Like... Oh shit! I forgot. I forgot that declaring war takes a turn. Ah, well, let's so do that. So I've sent. I've sent it. I said. Oh, no, I'll, re I'll rephrase it, because I think we want to say, it is our duty to liberate your citizens from your oppressive government. Nah, Prepare for what? Uh, Regime change. Let's not do that. No, okay. Um, Despite our relationship, we cannot unite the galaxy as long as your people remain apart from us. Prepare for war. No. When your people fall, we will unite the galaxy under us. That's the one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> sure, that sounds pretty authoritarian, doesn't That's it? That's what we need to do. We need to show them where we oh, are. Oh, we're asserting our dominance Yeah, yeah, on yeah man. You don't want to be a pussy. <laughs> okay. No pu 55 y <laughs> bullshit here. We're going right. to be, like, coming in there, going, like, yeah, look at my Come big in. swinging balls. <laughs> Fucking take these in your oh face. Oh, my God. You should teach a class on Klingon diplomacy. Well, you know what it's like. You've, you've well, watched, I do now. You've watched. Sure. You've, you have to just assert yourself. <laughs> Can't let them run, run Can't all over run you. Run rampant. Sure. Okay. So we're going to declare war next turn. That's it. Oh, we've done it. I feel so, like we should have paid more attention to this. I know. Oh, we've finished researching the mega energy doodads. Oh, we were. Wow, of course. That's, um, there's a guild, trade guild. Right. Luckily, no one's our friend and we have no Luckily, trade guild. Luckily, we have no trade guild. What is that? Is that Latin? <laughs> that's that Latin. Gold Latin. That is gold press just flying out of the planet. Pissed out of the planet. Pissed out of the... What? Because that's Europe. what a trade route looks like. <laughs> yeah, we just, you just squirt <laughs> Latinum into space yeah. and like hope a, someone picks it up. It's constant stream <laughs> of Latinum. <laughs> Shit, like, don't cross the stream, so... No. That's, that ends badly. Uh, the Shelly Act declared war on the Cardassians, kind of randomly. Diplomatic messages have been received. Um... Oh, so course, our no, people uh, don't like war. No, because we're the Federation. Yeah. Um, and I need to do the the research thing. So war we've, is hell. War is hell. But it also hell is never war. changes. 
So what can we research uh, now? Can't we build a building or something? Yeah, so we're going to build um, this the subatomic simulators. One per system, 150 e research. Each one gives for us free. A, for no free, no people cost. required. Right. But it costs 80 energy to like power it up. That's cool, because we've got some energy. we got energy flying. I've been building power plants energy everywhere. Weapons. Right, so now we so have what do we want next? ship. Do we want the strike cruiser next? Yeah. Cool, so we want computer construction and weapons. Let's get the computer. Okay, sure. You got it. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick recap of what would... Actually, no, I'm going to put the subatomic simulators into production. Oh, it's only like two turns as well. Every oh, planet. Oh, my God, it's so cheap. Yeah, well, those are our big planets. Uh, literally just every planet. Crank some of these bad boys out. This is going to give our science, like, such a big boost. Mm. It's, it's, it's a big investment. It took us like three techs to get there. Yeah, we rushed it. We rushed it. I think it's like rushing it's the Great a Library, basically. And we've also declared war on our neighbours. Uh, while time. rushing the Great Library. I feel not, like that was a bad decision. Not like a classic strat, Purchase is it? Purchase ordered. Um, Purchase ordered. Purchase ordered. Purchase ordered. Purchase ordered. What about the command crews? We need to save enough gold in case we need to... Oh, yeah. No, these, these, are, these are peanuts. Don't worry. Oh, really? So good. Yeah. All right. Um, let's, let's poop it out. Let's poop this one out, yeah? Yeah. Bam. Purchase okay. ordered. All right, we could have enough um, to buy the command cruiser in a couple of turns as well. Uh, no. Well, we need like another thousand. Okay. So, like, how much are we making? Oh, yeah, like two, three turns. Okay. That's fine. Um, so, we're going to kill Sirius. Yeah, here we go. Um, Attacks. We wish to liberate, yeah? Not conquer. Yeah. Planetary assault acknowledged. Now, they have got one orbital battery. Right. What does that mean? Um, that means they've got like a little satellite with a laser that's going to shoot at us as we attack. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we might lose the ship. That doesn't that. feel like that bad. But it's fine. Um, and what have we got here? This is the science vessel that's going to go catch up. And um, that's it, right? I think we're done, though. So the attack happens in the... In, in, the... in between. Right. We just get a report next turn to tell us what happened. Oh, okay. Um, the Frigia are quite happy about this. Yeah. They're, they're loving it. And we've got some other events. That, are any of them important? Mm. Not really. No, that's all good. So I'm just going to check our systems. Everyone's apathetic. They don't like being at war. No. So that reduces everything. So we're hopefully liberating. We'll just like shoot them all right back up again. Let's find out. Yeah, liberated. No attacking ships destroyed. Oh Orbital battery down. Destroyed two structures and killed 12 million people. Um, Whoops. And one of our troop transports is gone because it's like landed and set up like right. Occupation HQ. Okay. Um, Military bases. And the Sheliak have declared war on us. I guess they're allies with the Klingons. Diplomatic right. messages um, have been received. But being having people declare war on you is good for morale. Ah. Because it means the like the Federation like want Starfleet to be better. Hooray! To so Celebrations that's a plan to honor the heroes who liberate the Ferengi. Nice. Awesome. And then we got some loads of building done oh and everyone's everyone talking to us. A statement to us. So let's find out how everyone feels about our liberation. We trust all is well with your people. Is this Krell? Would you, no, <laughs> Krell has a Ferengi. <laughs> we invite you to join us in a commitment to peaceful cooperation. Oh my god, that is exactly how they speak, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Perhaps this will open the door to future business between us. Um, so indefinite friendship, that's amazing. That means we can trade route it up. Nice. Every, every one of our planets can trade with every one of their planets. Well, when the thing's gone. Um, yeah, when the blockade runs out. Yeah. Um, the Romulans are saying, don't Romulans start don't a fight with the Klingons. I like it. When you are ready for a real challenge, you will know where to find us. Mm. <laughs> Smug. Um, Dogmen like it. Um, they want us to rescue them. Falcons also like it because of the hypocrisy of Klingon honor. Oh, man, they're all, they're like the best. Good boys, they're Falcons. Like they're, Falcons. Our, well, they're our best mates. And then the, these guys... The, hip, um, the hippies. The hippies. They've been conquered by the Cardassians. Right. So they're like, yeah, you should liberate everyone. Okay. Us next, please. Right. <laughs> we're we're still here. <laughs> yeah, don't forget. Well done. So we've got three Klingon destroyers. We're lurking out by this wormhole. Okay. And I think this wormhole connects to one of these ones, doesn't it? Mm. I forget which one, which wormholes go where, to be totally honest I with think you. that one south of Sol goes to the Task Klingon homeworld, doesn't it? Oh, it goes over here. Yeah, we need... Oh, shit, that's what we want to research, isn't it? We want the starbase. Oh, of course. Oh, that's that's a way That's going to be a little while. Okay. Oh, well. Well, we'll get those simulators online, then it won't take long at all. Um, so let me just... The worm will be useful once we conquer... We'll have to just conquer Klingon space the old-fashioned way, I think. 
purchase order. Yeah, then the wormhole will just like connect us up. Now I love old Luxana Troy's voice. I'm really so glad that nice they got that her to, to do this. She's in it. Um, yeah. Oh, the command cruiser can't go outside of green. Right. So if we want to go to Dogland, we either need to leave the command cruiser behind or build another outpost. Okay, well, we can leave it behind. Or we could conquer this planet and use it as a staging ground. This, maybe that's a good idea. Is it any good? Um, it's tiny. But, but it's got good potential, actually. It can fit 200 Yeah, it's got other poppers. It's got other Gaia worlds on it. Look. Uh, ocean worlds. Yeah, well, ocean worlds, whatever. It's pretty good. Okay, we'll get that on the way. But we're going to need more troop transports if that's the case. Right. Um, Because Klingons Cause we've only got hard. like two. We've only got two left. Which probably isn't enough to conquer, to liberate the dogmen. So we need like honesty. three or four or five? Yeah. Or six? Uh, or I don't know. I, let's have a look. Uh, six which, I think it's here. Holy you shit. hover over it. So they've got ground combat 504. All right. I don't know what the ground combat of a transport is. What was Colfer? What's Colfer look like? Uh, 80. Right. So I think we can take that. There's no orbital platforms or anything. No, we'll just walk up and snatch it. Let's that go and grab it. Cool. You go there. You go there. And build some more troop transports. You go there. We're going to need a lot. Yeah. And we might need a bigger fleet as well. Well, we don't know what how big the Klingon fleet is yet, because look, this um, X-ray pulsar... Is like blocking all of our scans. Ooh. Can't see. But we've just built a new scout ship. So we'll, we'll go check it out. Romulans and Cardassians are friends. That's a shame. We're friends with the Frangi. We have teamed up with the weakest guy in the universe. Shalek just cleared one of Yeah, Shalek can just get, get screwed. Um, so we can set up some trade routes when the Latinum piss farm is going. Ah! Oh, <laughs> he says... Your people never cease to amaze us. Are you sure that you've never examined the rules of acquisition? Man, the rules of acquisition are like the rules of the internet, aren't they? They are like... There are no girls in space. It's The rules <laughs> of acquisitions are, are really weird. The 47th yeah. rule of acquisition. They've always got one, haven't they? Like, no matter what, there's a rule to cover like every situation. 